What's up everyone, this is Cybernaut8610 and today I wanted to do sort of a special video for you guys because you know what, Japan always gets some really cool stuff for Yu-Gi-Oh! and I gotta admit, I'm jealous. I'm always jealous about it. We've talked about it so many times throughout the different opening stuff I've done that, you know, they get all these different cool packs and different events and stuff and yet again, right now over in Japan, they're having a collaboration with Coco's, which is evidently like a diner that's over there, and Yu-Gi-Oh! where you can actually get like promo packs of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. They actually have the uh, Hungry Burger there, the card, you may remember it. Yeah, actually as a meal that you can buy. And I've seen some people go over there and do that and all that. I, I can't get a ticket to Japan. I, I unfortunately can't right now, you know, and uh, I'm sure a lot of you are in that same boat. So, you know what? I wanted to do something about it, kind of bring the experience to myself and have a special video on it and stuff too. So, here is my attempt mainly my wife's because I'm not the best cook, I burn cereal, at actually trying to replicate the Hungry Burger. So yeah, as you can see, we have like the, we're making the hamburgers there. Again, my wife's usually the one that's actually cooking because I, I don't want to accidentally give myself like mad cow disease or something. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't trust myself too much on cooking. That is something I want to get better at this year at some point. And also too, at least Hungry Burger is actually, uh, well, it looks pretty simple. Basically the way we made it was a, uh, let's see, a bottom bun, then cheese to kind of simulate the teeth. I believe that's also what Coco's did, as well as a piece of lettuce, the patty, then another piece of lettuce, tomato, another piece of cheese, again, for the top teeth, and then another bun on top of it, and I had to add the little flag as well. So, yeah, it looks really simple. I guess there's no condiments on it. I guess you can add what you want if you feel like it, whatever, on that, but it was a really good burger, I gotta say. So, I gotta give all the, you know, the props to my wife on that. So, big thank you to her. I couldn't do well to just about anything without her. So, uh, it was really awesome, and again, the burgers were good. So, that was a lot of fun. And then, of course, our meal wouldn't be complete without a pack opening. You know what channel you're on, and of course, too, I picked up some of the promo packs. Now, I didn't realize there's a volume two of this set. I just picked up volume one. So we'll pick up volume two and do an opening on it later on, probably a little bit after this video. Maybe we'll do a YouTube Shorts or something, but Volume 1, I feel like, has the cards you're probably after the most, like Dark Magician, Neo, Stardust, and some Rush Duel cards. So, let's go on ahead and show you guys the opening on those. Alright, so here are the promo cards that you get from the Coco's and uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! collaboration. This is Volume 1, where there are six different cards you can get. Basically, some iconic cards from the original series and stuff, too. You have, like, Dark Magician, Neos, Stardust, and then you have three from Rush Duels, which I'm gonna need some help with over here. I do have them on my phone next to me translated, and just in case. But I do believe it's one card per pack, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, let's get to it, okay? See what we get. I'm hoping basically we just get different ones for all of them. Don't really want any duplicates with those. And, oh, that looks nice. So first off we have Elemental Hero Neos. Of course, different background too. It actually has the hieroglyphics and stuff, which looks pretty awesome. So there we go. I was hoping they would look cool like that too. I wasn't really sure because I just have the pictures from like the Yugipedia to help me out. There you go, it's a normal Yu-Gi-Oh card. You can use this in Yu-Gi-Oh, of course, well, <laughs> in Japan. Because I doubt we're going to get this collaboration over here. But you can use it against your friends. We all know what Neos does. <laughs> He's a normal monster, it's easy enough. Oh, I think I know what we have here. It's uh, pretty much the only one in the set, right? The only Synchro Monster, Stardust Dragon. Again, with the uh, different background and all that too. And uh, yeah, so... That is really awesome. I like the way this card looks for sure. The hieroglyphics look so nice on these. Next up. And Dark Magician. Yeah, you gotta get Dark Magician. So another one looks great. I, I feel like this matches him the best with having that background because, you know, <laughs> the, the original season, the you know, the original series was more about um, Egypt. So that looks nice. It's hard to choose which artwork would look good to a Dark Magician. Then after that, so far we've gotten different ones. We haven't got any Rush Duel ones, which, to be honest, I kind of wanted the others more. So I wasn't really looking for Rush Duel stuff. Because we can't play that over here. Oh, we actually got a double 
it is Elemental Hero Neos. Well, if I'm going to get a double, I don't mind it being the original ones. So, I'll take that. And then, last one. What can we get? I was hoping maybe we'd come close to getting the full set. At least close, because there's six different ones. I have five packs. But, yeah. Doesn't look like it's going to happen anyway. Because, you can already tell which one this is. If I can get out here, I'm trying to be careful. Yeah, Stardust Dragon. Again, it looks awesome though, and I don't mind having doubles with that either. So, yeah, these look so cool. And honestly, I didn't really care to get the Rustle ones. So this actually worked out really well for me. I'll probably get more of these in the future though. So like I said, subscribe so we can check out more uh, Rustle stuff and all of that too. But uh, yeah, I think that looks very good. And there you have it. That's the opening and the burger and all that kind of stuff. If you're wondering where I got the packs, they're actually from Bai. Basically, it is a place where you can buy stuff from Japan like you live in Japan. Unfortunately, I couldn't order the burger that way. I mean, you know, our burgers were good, but hey, I wanted, you know, <laughs> if only you could do that. I can't wait for that in the future. But uh, that's how I got the promo packs and I plan to get the volume two ones as well. So if you want to do that for yourself, be sure to click on the link down in the description. You'll save some money as well. You get that thousand yen and and uh, yeah, it makes a lot of stuff cheap. Anime statues, all kinds of different stuff they have in Japan, and a lot of their exclusives that we miss out on that you see on this channel. Uh, yeah, that's the way you get them too, and not break the bank either. So I definitely recommend that sponsor. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a lot of fun to make, and I got to eat and open packs. That's pretty much two of my favorite things in life right there. So yeah, I consider that a good day. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like, and all that fun stuff too if you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya.